primary reason I have Casper up on the lift is to change the two motor mounts. You know, you look down inside there and these motor mounts kind of look okay. You can tell they're not totally collapsed. Sometimes you'll see this just totally collapsed or you'll hear metal banging <laughs> where it's so collapsed that the mount arm is actually banging on the subframe. But in this case, how did I know these motor mounts were bad? I knew it from experience from the vibration at idle. I just knew the motor mounts were bad. I want to show you this because this might be educational to you diesel owners. Remember, this car only has a little over 160,000 miles on it. Who knows when these motor mounts were last changed, but just consider how old they are. <laughs> That's a major factor on rubber parts. Even if they don't get driven a lot, these mounts can deteriorate. But I'm going to show you what destroyed these mounts. This is really important. Okay, watch this. We're going to take off the left side, which is located under or just rearward of the fuel injection pump. And look at the deterioration there. You see where that's coming apart right there? Look at that. What do you think caused that? That's right, diesel fuel. <laughs> diesel fuel leaking onto the motor mount, either from a leaking hand primer pump or somebody changing the pre-filter, this is right below the pre-filter. You pull that pre-filter off and let it drip on the motor mount. This is what's going to happen. Even if there's a cover on it, the diesel fuel will roll off the cover and get into the sides of the mount and deteriorate the motor mount. So if you wonder why your motor mounts don't last as long as you would like them, you have to be very careful. Anytime you're doing fuel-related service, changing the return hoses, changing the filters, Pulling off the fuel line, you have to cover this motor mount area. Cover it with some sort of plastic so that any drips of diesel fuel will not end up on your motor mount. Now let's take a look at the passenger side. That doesn't look too bad, but look at that. And guess what destroyed this? This is oil leaking out of the turbocharger inlet line, which had a bad gasket. So on the passenger side, in and around the turbocharger, you need to be very careful that you don't have any oil leaks in that area that could get on this mount. Once again, even though they had a cover on it, you know, you can see the crack from the vibration. That's probably due to the fact that the motor mount's collapsed. But look at the amount of oil that's gotten in there. And you can see how this one has hardened and softened this mount and destroyed this mount as well. So this is kind of a warning, kind of an alert to you diesel owners. Doesn't matter whether it's turbo or non-turbo. Don't let oil leak on your motor mounts. Don't let diesel fuel <laughs> leak on your motor mounts because they definitely will shorten the life. Now I'm putting the new ones on here and you can see how much taller they are. And you better believe that once I get these new motor mounts on, this engine is gonna run a lot smoother.